At least one person dies every hour for melanoma. But a sticker test is becoming a more popular way to help predict the likelihood of someone being diagnosed with the disease. Things that I want to biopsy, sometimes people don't get want to biopsy because they are concerned about scarring, about needles. We are going to do this test four times. Dr. Mary Pintel is performing the test on Samantha Dumbald, who has already had a bout with melanoma in the past. Now she's back after Pintel noticed two suspicious moles on her back. If they hadn't caught it at that point, um, we don't know how long it would have been until it could have changed or metastasized and um, gone into my lymph nodes and later into other areas of my body. I'm going to outline it. And this tells the lab that we're sending to, this is the area that you, we are going to get those cells from. The smart sticker test can take just a few minutes. After a skin check, Pintel cleans the areas that she is concerned about. She applies the stickers to those spots and rubs them to collect the cells. Doctors do this process four times on each spot. These are the stickers that were used for Samantha's test. They'll be sent off to a lab in California. She'll get her results back within a week. If the test comes back negative, that means there is a 99% chance that spot is not cancerous. If a test does come back positive, Pintel encourages patients to get more testing done through a traditional biopsy. Pintel typically performs these sticker tests on 10 patients a week. She's been doing this so far for the last three years. She says this test is a big factor in early detection for a serious disease. It gives me peace of mind for my patient. It gives my patient peace of mind. So I wake up call then and even people around me too and my family making sure um, my immediate family, my brothers, and my parents are getting regular skin checks too. Can you see? It doesn't take long. A simple test that can ultimately save a life.